The music rack or music desk on a grand piano is what we use to put our sheet music on top of so that the pianist can actually read the score while we play. Did you know that you can actually remove the music desk from a grand piano? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that and then also talk about reasons why you might even want to remove the music rack from the grand piano in the first place. I'm Crystal Thomas, a classical concert pianist, and on this channel, I share performances, practice strategies, I talk about just classical music in general. And so if you enjoy that type of content, be sure to subscribe, share the videos, and also hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. So as mentioned before, there are times when the music rack on a grand piano is not needed. For instance, if you go to a classical music concert, you might notice that the music rack is not on there when the pianist is performing because for one reason, it allows the acoustical sound to resonate a bit more, right? Because you don't have this wood block kind of blocking this area, the strings and the pins and so forth. So with that out of the way, it just allows the, the sound to carry a little bit more. And then B, you might notice that the rack is not there because the pianist has the music memorized. So if you have the music memorized, you don't need to read the musical score. Therefore, we don't need the rack. Another reason why the music rack would be taken off is if the piano is out of tune. So the piano technician that comes in that needs to tune the piano would want this out of the way so that they can have access to the pins in the piano. So those are just a couple of reasons why you would want to take the music rack off of the piano. So let's get into how you would take it off. It's pretty simple. The first thing is, of course, you want to clear it of all music books and sheet music. So let's do that now. Secondly, you will want to lower the top half of the rack by simply taking the back out of the grooves that you see there and letting it rest like that. So once the top half is down, you will just want to slide it forward like so. You'll notice that there are some grooves on the side that just kind of slide right into the slots there. Slide it forward and then what I do is I take my left hand and put it kind of underneath the platform here on the left side and then I grab the right side on the platform so that you have a sturdy hold because it is quite wide. So you just keep pulling it out until it slides out and then there you have it. You're holding on to it. It's nice and secure. Like I mentioned before, my left hand is underneath and then I'm also holding the side and then you can just place it to the side. And then you'll notice that the music rack is no longer there. And then, of course, if you want to put the music rack back onto the piano, you just do the same steps, but just in the opposite way. So I'm coming back with the lid. Notice there are slots there that match. And you just line it up right on both sides. And then you're able to slide it back into the piano and just kind of push like so. And then lift it up in the position that you want. And then the piano rack is right where you need it. Easy peasy. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please check out my other videos. I have one on how to open a grand piano and one on how to keep a piano in tune. You might enjoy those. Uh, check out my channel, like, subscribe, share, and turn on the notification bell so that you know when I upload the next video. See you next time.